So today, I'm going to be playing one of my most requested games of all time. This game is called Shell Shock, and I don't know why this game is requested so much, but I've noticed with all the other games out there, this one specifically is requested day in and day out. So we're going to play it, and if you don't know what Shell Shock is, well, the actual term is Shell Shock. Think of Shell Shock as PTSD, but I think inside World War One, and uh, yeah, it's not a good time. So we're going to play it. All right, so here we are inside the game, and as you see, this does not look like an FPS whatsoever, but here's the thing. This is actually one of the most morbid games I've ever played, period, because it might seem all happy now. Look, everybody's cheering me on. Congratulations, you enlisted for the war. What's the worst thing that could happen? And um, if you know anything about World War I, um, it was not a pretty sight, and <laughs> this is rather misleading. So how about we hop on the trains and let's go to war? All right, well, here we're off to war. Hip hip hooray! All right, so here we are inside war. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, just look at the pretty landscape. What's the worst thing that could happen? Oh God, <laughs> what, what is the worst thing that could happen? But essentially, this is like a wave-based shooter. So how this works is each team will have waves. And every time you have a wave, you have a certain amount of lives. And essentially, you have to try pushing the other person's trench. And if you're able to do it, well, then you can push them back into their other trench. And then if you do it twice, I'm pretty sure you win the game. So this beautiful landscape is going to turn into a, a absolute war zone in a, roughly a few seconds. So now we just gotta wait for the enemy attack and then hopefully we survive. All right, here we go. I'm manning a machine gun. Time to absolutely just blast them. All right, I think I got one down. Oh, oh wait, two down, three down. They're shooting at me. I gotta move, I gotta move. Oh my God, people are dying right next to me. Oh, okay, bro. All right, my teammate got him. Let me reload, let me reload. But like I said, you have a certain amount of lives and essentially, okay, oh, oh, and that guy just got blown to smithereens. Come on, come on, keep shooting, keep shooting. Oh, I'm dead, no! I don't think I can spawn in. I'm out of lives, wait for the next, are you serious? Just like that? And so they actually won the very first round and we lost our trench, which, um, you know, no surprise there, I guess, because we absolutely just got rolled. But now we have, I think, a little bit of bigger of a trench to work with. And I'm pretty sure we're actually going to be ready to attack or maybe they're attacking and I, I, I don't know. But essentially, one of the reasons why I don't really like this game that much is because the guns absolutely suck. Because wherever you're aiming is not where the gun is going to be going. And you only have a certain amount of lives. And if you die pretty early on, like I did, you have to sit there and wait for a pretty long time. All right, so this time we're going to be attacking. And so, you know, this is, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, my. So I guess my strategy is I'm going to go ahead and just, I don't know, try not dying. But like I said, the guns are absolutely terrible. And I, yeah, you, you know, this is going to go so terribly wrong. All right, here we go. We're attacking. Let's run it. We have three lives and hopefully I don't waste them. Okay. Oh, my. I killed one already. Keep it going. Keep it going, boys. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of AI in this game, too, so I'm gonna let them do all the hard pushing while I kind of just sit here and snipe. Hello? Yo, what happened to this guy? I'm sorry, my man. I can't help you. Oh, I'm getting shot. Go, 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 go. Come on, team. We gotta push in. Another one down. No, I'm dead. I stepped in a landmine, too. All right, we got two lives left. I need my team to, to like, wake up a little bit here, team. We're not, we're not pushing. All right, I gotta hide behind here real quick. Oh, and that guy just got absolutely obliterated. Yeah, bro, my entire team is just dying around me. This is not good. But you see what I'm saying about the accuracy? The accuracy of the guns aren't really that accurate, so this game doesn't really necessarily reflect skill. It's more of a luck game, to really be honest with you. And, oh my god. Here we go again. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, it just it, it wasn't gonna work out. And so here we are. Um, we lost the round once again. So if we lose this round, I'm pretty sure we just lose. And yeah, I don't have any faith in this team. We, we really don't have anything here. It's it's not looking good, uh, but I can't really do anything to make anything better, to be honest with you. Well, you can imagine how this is going to go. Oh, no, here they come. We don't have remotely that many people, bro. Look at them all. There's so many of them. And my gun doesn't do anything. Look, we're getting ruled. 
Yeah, we didn't stand a chance from the start. This game was rigged. Yeah, bro, my team's dead. We're all, we're literally just all dead. There is not, we don't have, we don't stand a single chance here. I, I'd be genuinely surprised if we're able to hold them off. Oh, and I'm dead. I got one more life to me. And you know what? If the soldiers don't kill me, starvation's gonna kill me eventually because apparently whenever you die, your hunger doesn't reset. Yeah, and I'm dead. There, there we go. Just like that. Bada bing, bada boom, we lost the game. I think you could probably credit it to the fact that one, my gun absolutely sucks, and two, the teams were probably really unbalanced. So, yeah, I mean, that's really, that's really it. I mean, that, that's why I really don't like this game, because this game, as cool as it is, as cool as the concept is, it's just that in terms of a single player FPS, like, you, you can't really do much. But obviously, I think this game is more meant to be more like role play instead of actually fighting, so... That's probably why, but I'm just not a huge fan of it. It's just not my type of game. So I would rate it on the scale of me personally. I'd give it a two out of 10, but I, everybody's going to hate me for that answer. So um, just to satisfy the role players in my chat, um, I'll give it a solid. Anyways, guys, I hope to see you guys in the next one and enjoy the rest of you guys' day. Bye bye.